This is a unique caravanning destination, not just because of its location on the Waikul River, but also because of the historical Coilite Hotel that is attached to it. Park owner and publican Joel Butcher is keeping the history alive and I caught him between jobs to chat a bit more about the park. Joel, my type of caravan park, mate, it's got its own pub. What a ripping idea. How long have you been here? Just over 12 months, yeah. The pub looks like it's been here for a little bit longer than that. Yeah, it's been here for, since 1890, so it's, it's, it's got some stories to tell. So, the caravan park, what sort of facilities are in there for people that are travelling? So we've got cabins, um, we've got dongers, which is a single room for campers. Um, we've got powered sites, unpowered sites. Um, so we do a bit of a range of everything for every individual traveller. Another thing Joel has is a boat. So we loaded up the rib chesters and decide to continue our chat out on the Waikul River. Mate, magnificent river to spend the day on, but I suspect there's a bit of history around here. Yeah, so Kola really was originated from a, a punt crossing uh, back in the 1850s. Um, from there, they uh, built a pub on the river, um, and then uh, about 1890, uh, that pub ended up burning down, and then um, we end up with the pub that we're at today. So um, 1890, she's got a fair bit of history, that old pub. What's your favourite story about the pub? Um, probably the crocodile uh, up on the wall there. I was going to ask you about that skin. Yeah, so there's a bit of a story there was um, uh, one of the there was a bit of a zoo here. Um, and they... Mate, I was at the pub last night, it's still a bit of a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, they had a tank, a large tank, and they brought two small crocs down from up the territory. And uh, the story goes that uh, these things got a bit too big and got out of the tank and they found the one that's on the wall and they never found the other one. Might be in the river still. It might be still around here somewhere. Yep. There's been some wild nights in there too when you look around the wall at the photos. Someone in there on a motorbike doing burnouts. Yeah, that's right. We've got a few scars on the floor there to, to prove that um, yeah, the boys knew how to play up back in their day. So, and a few photos to show it as well. So yeah, it's got some got some good stories to tell. What do you love about living out here? Um, the river. It's a great spot, um, and the people, the uh, community around here is awesome. They really do a, a lot of a lot of good work looking after each other. Um, it is farming communities, and some do it tough sometimes and there's always a helping hand. It's obviously the hub, everyone's there, that's where they come and talk. Yeah. I dare say it's where everyone's got a job, it's probably where they've met their wives, it's been the place. Yeah, it is the, the centre, centre part of the community. The hotel is also set up for large groups with a kitchen and a large separate dining area that can seat up to 75 people. Perfect for conferences, birthdays or any large gathering. What a great location. It is a unique spot, um, but it is um, out of the way. But Look what's in the backyard, like it's magnificent. Boat ramp right, right opposite the pub. Just be careful of the crocs. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to plan a visit to the Kylite Caravan Park, we've made it easy. Just log on to holidayparksdownunder.com.au and follow the prompts. What's up, Dan